Hello friends, welcome to channel Reza Blade, or welcome back. I'm your friendly neighborhood Reza. I don't have much of an intro for you today. I'm working in 85 degrees in, inside, and I want to kind of uh, hurry through this. <laughs> um, I'm, uh, we're staying at my sister's across town uh, while the AC is broken. Hey. Anyway, here I am reviewing plates. Uh, this is for uh, Butometry's amazing uh, release of, I think, four or five different plates. I have two of them. I'm here to talk to you about them today. You might have noticed I've done a few things with Butometry. There was a really fun unboxing um, series of days uh, for Halloween, and um, we did that. You might have seen them on my back catalog of episodes. They were all lives done every day with Butometry. These are Butometry plates. They are deluxe sized. Um, they're the first couple of plates that I saw, or at least the first plate that I saw, had fewer images, like as far as quantity, but as far as quality of plate and size of images, people, you're not going to get this anywhere else. This is amazing. If you have long, long fingernails, or even, you know, just a bit longer than this, long fingernails, there are some plates that don't quite do it. So uh, this this is it, <laughs> as far as... so. Uh, we have a butterfly plate. I love that Butometry is putting all sorts of terms and words. I really like mixed media style or kind of scrapbooking style nail art. Uh, lots of opportunities here. There is a really fine image on this one. I'm going to talk about that in a minute. Um, I have a, a little hint, a helping uh, way to help you uh, make sure you get that every time stamped on your finger. All right, so we have the witch plate, we have the butterfly plate. I'm going to talk about the images while I show you the paper swatches, uh, which of course I have paper swatches. Every time I review plates, I have paper swatches. And here's some sample nail art that I did. For the first butterfly look, I wanted a watercolor look. I don't know if I succeeded, but I really liked, I did, this was all lead lighting, so jelly uh, sheer colors that were painted on top of the stamp after I mattified it, of course. Oh, before you put a matte top coat on, you really need to set all of your nail art with a like a quick dry hard coat, something like that, just a different top coat, because the, the matte top coats are very soft and they will often change or just entirely fail to protect your nail art if you lose them, if you use them alone. So uh, on the side nails, I did uh, some dry brushing with some very sparkly, uh, different polishes. And then uh, if you recognize this blue, it is from actually Nevermind's first polishes that uh, she sent me. So I think they have water spirit names, but this is the light blue with the pink iridescence. It's just beautiful. So next I have, I, sh I told you I really enjoyed the idea of all of that text and I did a uh, th this is also a Nevermind polish in the middle here, but that is a polish pickup, and you can't get it anymore. Um, and then with this one, I did a bunch of the different worms. I really like the idea of having the butterfly uh, landing on the caterpillar. I don't know why I said worms. They're not worms, I know. Um, and so, oh, the other thing is I really kind of in was inspired by the blue Morpho butterfly, which is uh, Teresa's favorite uh butterfly. So anyway, and um, the uh, next one I have for you is for from the witch plate. Okay, so we have so mode it be on the thumb with the triple moon image. Um, then we have earth, air, fire, and water. I was really, uh, so these are the traditional uh, colors that you use in ritual when calling the quarters or when you are, you know, designating protection for you within your safe ritual space. Uh, earth, air, fire, and water. Earth is north, um, air is east, fire is south, and water is west. If I recall correctly, I could absolutely be wrong. Um, I had a period of about 10 years where I knew everything about Wicca and paganism. Um, 
I, I've done comparative religion all my life, so it's just uh, just a thing I like to pick up. Uh, same thing with this one. I used the witch plate. I just wanted to do something really interesting, but also use all the words because of, I'm loving the words. They're so cool. And, of course, you can pick out individual words. Use your handy-dandy uh, scotch tape to remove the images that you don't want. Use those words, or you can just use them for other things. Magic, whatever. Uh, witch, uh, spellcraft, spirit, etc. So here we have a beautiful uh, phases of the moon image with some orbits, I think. And then I did some iridescence within the orbits to kind of bring it out from that blue base. I did stamp with a gold stamping polish, uh, polish from uh, Born Pretty, um, or maybe it was the one from Queen. I don't remember, It's but it is metallic. Uh, but this is Puin, uh Gold from their metallic, uh, on, metallic set on Amazon. So I'm telling you all the things, which is good. I told you I'd tell you all the things. These are stacked books from this plate. I just did. I, just, I laid down one side of the books, and then I used the other side kind of for the top so they didn't have a real repeat. Uh, let me talk about... Uh, the last bit, I did this color blocking. I have taught this in my previous videos. I did the color blocking with my magic scotch tape. So make sure before you do any color blocking work, you have a really good set and cured top coat on these things because if they're not cured, they, they will not respond especially well to neither uh, the scotch tape nor the pulling off of the scotch tape. So make sure these are nice and set before you try anything with scotch tape. Don't rush it. All right, so those are my samples. Let me take you through the actual swatches of the plate. So I'm gonna go through the butterfly plate first. I did tell you it is just amazingly uh, long and there's a great variety. This is my fault, I took too long to get to the paper. Just all sorts of images that you can, you can do these individual segments, you can do different colors, you can do the same color, you can steal one butterfly. But of course, there is this other area where you've got all these different butterflies. You can have individual layering bits and pieces. So pretty much, um, you dream it, you can make it. Uh, same thing with these little caterpillars here. And you've got the lines separately just really cool here. These options are fabulous. And then here's some more work that I did with the uh, just swatches here. And then I wanted to talk to you about this super fine uh, graduated cylinder beaker or whatever image here. Uh, we have uh, very, very fine lines. So maybe you'll do this in one color and the outline in a different color. But how do you make sure you pick up that fine lines? Well, I've got no AC, so like 85 degrees. I'm stamping in great heat, and heat makes uh, the plates expand. So that image becomes super, super shallow when you're talking about a lot of heat. Now, thermal expansion isn't really the topic of this video, so I'm not going to talk more about that. But let's talk about how to get a good image in these conditions. And it may take a couple of times, but this is actually not so difficult. So what you're going to do, I can't believe I didn't talk about the witch first. Let me talk about the witch plate first. I'm pulling out a demo. I, doubt, I did not plan a demo. Okay, so we've got awesome, very tall spider web, really super. I used this spider web and I did a white spider with red markings which is true to life but they're super sheer so I don't think in the picture the legs showed up but I really like this idea this is a sponge background on a light silver gray I did white and darker gray um, different sponging and I know some of you have said that the sponge video I have coming up sounds very good so I will put it on the list this is a sponge that I newly found on AliExpress. I use these for everything, all sorts of stuff. And of course, I do also use the sponges for gradients that you can get on Butometry's website. Anyway, so I just take a little bit of a sponge and I sponge on those details, okay? So let me talk about the phases of the moon, there are constellations marked here. It is just the best image. And there is even tiny little text, phases of the moon, 
it's just it's so cool this is like one of my favorite images on any number of plates we have rows and rows of candles this i i really enjoyed this i did um i did do one version of it i if i do this nail again i'll make the gradient darker up top i really wanted to give the effect of a, a wall and maybe this dark dark area would be the ceiling and then you'd just be looking down a huge wall of candles but uh, like I said, I needed that red to be darker, I think. And as far as the phases of the moon go, we have a crescent moon here, um, and that will bring us to the other nail I did. I don't remember what base coat this is. I used some glitter on it. I'm not, I kind of regret that. And then I just, um, I did this first and I let the top coat cure, and then I used a, a circle uh, stamp from a, uh, I don't remember which plate, but it's one of those shape plates, you know, where you can stamp shapes. I used a circle for the half moon. It was a pun. This is the half moon of the nail, and I put the triple crescent, or the triple moon. Sorry, this is the triple moon. I put the triple moon, because there were only two crescents, um, and uh, I really like that. Uh, I did not nail the outline, but I did better than I often do. I do have an intermittent tremor. I was going to tell you something else about this, but I neglected to. I used uh, Nevermind's matte top coat. Last image from the witch um, plate was really very kind of intricate, okay? So I did a, a poison green, um, just like uh, you know the, that poisonous green wallpaper made of arsenic in the late 19th century, as you might recall, I've done that video. Uh, anyway, so we have steam coming out of the cauldron, We've got Hocus Pocus text. That's one of those, uh, you know, little uh, words that I picked up off that plate. We've got a skull and we've got some books. And if you have really good vision, you can see the title of those books. Uh, and I, I used some of the smoke from the potions section of the plate in order to make this. I really like this one. I sponged around this with like a darker green um, I'm, I'm really digging sponging this week, apparently. So we've got some of this text here. So would it be just, it, this is a real jackpot as far as if you like stamping words. These words pick up well. They're just really super. And then all of these individual images, you have these outlines that you can put on over. And I will discuss stamping those outlines in a second with my little tip. Okay, so you've got all these potion bottles you can build. It's just so neat. I keep saying neat. I mean flipping awesome. So, and then you have all of these. I don't know if you do any crystal work or you're maybe just a gemologist, uh, but, or maybe a, not, not lepidopterist, a lapidary. Maybe you're a lapidary. Uh, lepidopterist is something very different. So, um, anyway, but this is just so cool. Here is the hocus pocus. I can't quite make out this image but it looks like it's got dragons on it or something. So it seems pretty kick butt to me. Um, you can even take the word witches from the plate. It's right there. So we have the elements, air, earth, fire, water. Uh, we have layering crystals, some smaller spider webs. Let's say you have regular size nails or sport size nails or whatever. There's really, no, I don't know why I say regular. Uh, so you have two sizes of spider. You've got all the phases of the moon. I don't know why I neglected to put that one there. Oh, because I continued the stamp over here poorly, but I did. You can layer this feather. Here's a broom. Uh, this toad I haven't tried out yet, but he's got bits and pieces to layer on there. Um, really, really neat. Here's some scrolls and just a book and a candelabra. And I think this is supposed to be the chalice. My chalice is more the size of the gobble, goblet. <laughs> Gobble, gobble, I'm a turkey. Um, and this always, remembering the chalice or goblet always takes me to um, the court jester with Jenny Kay and the pellet with the poisons and the vessel with the pestle. The chalice from the palace holds the brew that is true. Okay, that's, that's all of my geekery this time. We've got some eyes that you can maybe have those on a dark background. Um, these are really, these kind of manis are really popular around Halloween. And then we've got the triple moon image and a bunch of images in between. Look at this crescent moon, the star and the sun. That is super awesome. Here are those, uh, you know, potion bottles and the whiffs of smoke or vapor that we see coming from 
um, anything really ominous uh, in various movies or cartoons uh, or real life just making something. So uh, that, I think, will bring us to the demo and then I will be done. What you're going to do with these super fine images, the real goal, because you've got tiny, tiny bits and you want the polish to actually stay, right? So we're not actually going to take the polish off right away. We're going to let it kind of settle into the cracks. And this works as long as you don't scrape. Uh, unless you actually let the polish from the brush dry on your stamp. I, you know, I've, I've let this sort of thing sit like three or four full seconds um, because I was in the middle of doing something else. And your timer kind of starts when you scrape uh, for the most part, okay? So I'm gonna grab this. I don't have any paper right here. Only one scrape, this is very important. Uh, this is the stamper, so this stamper is cracked in a couple of places. Um, I don't know why I pulled it out, but you can see that it's mo for the most part stamped. And this is something you, if you don't feel like messing with this, like you can pull this off your nail if you don't get it right with some scotch tape. Uh, very handy kind of fix. Only if you've top coated and it's cured. Remember, scotch tape and uncured nails do not mix. But that's your hint. I hope it helps you. Um, everybody have an awesome uh, holiday weekend. Uh, go check out those plates. The link is in the description box. And please also like, comment, subscribe, do the things. Help me grow my channel. Thank you so much, and I will talk to you later.